morning, everybody. Ugh. We're almost on time for once. It's crazy. Uh, and before you ask, no, there's nothing wrong with your audio. Apparently, the main menu for this game is absolutely fucking quiet. <laughs> I'm actually checking to make sure. Double checking. We'll we'll find out when we start if things are fucked or not, but it seems that way. Yeah, maze. Uh, a lot of y'all probably never even heard of this game. Much like Orcs and Men. So, I've actually had my eye on this game for quite a long time. Even before I started streaming, before I even got into PC gaming. <laughs> but things just never really lined up for me to get my hands on it. Till recently. It was actually around Christmas time that I actually managed to get my hands on it, finally. And I thought, this might actually be a very good game to stream. Mm. Excuse me. Mm. Ah, my stomach is unsettled. But yeah, so I've been holding on to it till we manage to finish Scarlet Nexus. Uh. I don't know if this one's going to be a long one, or a decently sized one, but, or if it's going to end up being like uh, Metamorphosis, where we could blow through it in two sessions. I know it's a puzzle game, I know there's corn involved, that's about it. <laughs> So, let's get into it and see what this this is about. Why is it so quiet? Makes me think there's something wrong. Yeah, so I only knew enough about this game to know that I wanted it. I don't really know the plot. I don't really know. I know the puzzles are involved. I know there is corn. I know very little else. Uh, there's definitely something wrong. Oh wait, sound? Hello? I'll double check, make sure. Y'all hear stuff. Okay. I 
It's all kind of weird. So it all feels a little blurry to me. Resolution. A fly. That looks significantly less blurry. What? The hell is that? Okay. Okay. Enter the pause menu. Oh, already did that. We already figured that one out, Chief. Oh boy, are we already in the maze? This one's called Maze. Pressing Q does absolutely nothing. <laughs> are you sure? I gotta try, just to be sure. If you're lying to me. This is pressing Q does absolutely nothing. <laughs> the hell? Grab. Items you can usually add to your inventory store and also add to your folio. Alright, how do I access such a thing? We'll be back in minutes. Did a great job pick picking up that item, and your path is open to you. How do I? All right, controls. We need to. We need to see something. Look, interact, examine, sprint, inventory item, folio. A note lazily scribbled includes a stock greeting and encouraging the reader to enjoy the complimentary snack on the desk. Notes to the reader to mind the boxes and also says open the big door and will probably say hello. Okay. Hard as granite, this muffin is most definitely nowhere near fit for consumption, despite how much you try, all you've done is given yourself a headache. <laughs> so I guess that's our first task, is open the big door. For clues on how to use it. Check this way first. Mega oranges produced in the US of A. The boxes or the contents? <laughs> I guess we're going this way first. 
I guess it would have been nice if you told me that when it was more relevant at the time. So I got signs here to try to direct me towards landmarks. You yeah, place icon, you can use an item. Which we ain't got, I guess. I guess this Q does absolutely no <laughs> That is not what I thought we'd start with. That's a lot of pots. Okay. We do have a sprint. I'm gonna open the chicken coop door. Well, now we can get into the house, it seems. I've been trying. Trust me, I've been hitting it a lot. Rusty nail jammed into the wall. A rock. Wait, why is that in the portfolio? <laughs> this is a rock you found near an outhouse. You don't know why you have it. It is absolutely mediocre in every possible way. Its name is Chauncey. <laughs> Your mind explodes with the possible uses of this item, but you settle on key to unlock and near my farmhouse and never think of any other possibility again. Not much to do, but either go that way or check in the farmhouse, so let's check in the farmhouse. I still want to know what that is. The big ring out there. Is it for Quidditch? Oh, right. Hold on. Boy, it's dark in here. That is a very lovely lady. Invoice for a carved wooden statue. Invoice for a commissioned wooden statue. Cost is in the hundreds of thousands. Items on the list include chopping down a large oak tree, carved statue out of oak tree, and a hospital bills for injury sustained chopping down oak tree. I can barely see a thing in here. Chess. It looks like it might have had a cheeseburger on it. Really boring mystery novel. Night Danger. A McMurphy mystery. Having no talent at the genre, the author mistakenly revealed the murderer's identity on the first page and spent the rest of the novel outlining a story about the detective buying a pair of pants. <laughs> crouch and see to not crouch. You could do this forever.
Y'all seeing something I don't in here that might have prompted that? Neat. Let's check out the rest of this place first. Okay, now I have a plug. The sink is now plugged. Nail clippers. Can I have my s plug back, please? Rancid corn. <laughs> this smell is strong enough to overcome a herd of yaks. You could use it to loosen something you need to remove for some reason, and imagine an image of a gloved hand pops into your head, leading directly to you walking straight into a wall. What? Vigilant as you are when it comes to personal hygiene, the only two things these clippers will do for you are grip something lodged in a wall and give you a 100% tetanus guarantee. That's it. Despite what the name would suggest, this crate was specifically used to hold a large number of pine cones in order to start a collection. The collection currently sits at zero. Well, I know what we're going to use that uh, toenail clipper on at least. This door has no doorknob. Let's see what's down here. Okay. Fuse black missing a fuse. So I guess we need to find a fuse. Which does not appear to be in here. Okay, well, we can go get a nail now, I guess. Probably not the nail the clippers were designed for, but that's what we're going to use it for. Okay. For some reason, the first thing that pops in your head is that it would be a really good conductor of electricity, possibly as a fuse. You are very strange. Honestly, that thought had occurred to me. <laughs> Not gonna lie, but then I was like, that sounds extremely dangerous. That's probably not what it would be. Apparently that is what it is. Use rusty nail as a fuse against safety regulations. <laughs> it's slightly less dark than it was before. I heard the sound like scratching. Part of me can't tell if this is supposed to be a horror game or not. Picked up a CD. Good for you. A new path has been opened to you. To the barn and silo. A CD. It's label faded. Pressed on the first batch. Pressed on the first batch of CDs ever created, this brand was notoriously expensive and even more unreliable, making even the greatest of symphonies sound like something a concussed elephant would make while stomping around a music shop. Oh, now I can see in this room just fine. See? Lovely lady. Welp. I didn't even try heading this way. I guess it was closed off to us.
Okay. If you're stuck, remember to press E to check your equipped items for clues. I have the theory that the CD we have goes to that thing. The, the big door. I look a broom. Yeah. I was pressing the wrong button. There's a pile of something or other you could sweep up with this, but you already knew that. What you didn't know was that this broom is haunted. This will not affect your adventure in any way as the ghost is currently away on business. <laughs> Half of a diagram. Okay. Diagram torn in half contains very complicated looking equations scribbled in orange pen. A drawing of a person and a DNA helix looks very important. You tried to eat it at first, but changed your mind when you couldn't find any salt. Get pumped. <laughs> Try it, man, I'm trying. It ain't easy to stay to the schedule. Keep up the habit. I'm trying though. Corn of the world. Every time. Every goddamn time. <laughs> Book outlined the differences and similarities but of corn species across the globe. Several chapters also, also discuss the color yellow. A few species are circled in red pen, while no, no, no appears in many places across the entire book in blue pen. I feel like there should be more here. I don't feel like I got a key item. But I guess what I feel doesn't matter. To the silo. Possibly. There's one heavy looking lock. No the odds we can go around. Zero. Got it. Stop pressing Q. It I have actually been pressing it a lot. <laughs> What in the fuck is this supposed to be? Very fashionable fedora worn by a very fashionable person. Due to this, you are not putting it on your head. You have not earned the right. On the inner tag, the owner wrote his name. Fernando. Huh. It took several hours of staring, but you managed to deduce that the name tag, in fact, belongs to the dead person it was near, and that his name is Fernando. It took you several more hours to notice that the dead person was a lab assistant, and, that, and then five more minutes to realize you were trying to read the thing upside down the whole time. No, seriously, what is this? All I can imagine is that it just shoots lightning everywhere. <laughs> the orange boxes are back. Guess we're not going that way. What are these? What is that symbol? This makes me think these, think these are shoe boxes. Like Nike or something.
So we got a fucked up key card. A disc. A broom. Some oil. A box. And a donut. Now let's not forget. A rock. Named Shotzi. Is that statue always there? Did I just like not see it? Or this path? There is the statue. What's his name wanted? Well, actually, didn't give us a name, did it? Broken shovel handle. Okay. Now I have this. <laughs> Completely useless for shoveling dirt, but helpful if you want to tip something over. Do you really think of the wardrobe on the second floor of the farmhouse because you did pretty good like how it looked at you? I would like to ruin its day. Were we able to get to the second floor? Did my dumbass actually not explore that whole house like I thought I did? Did I really not go upstairs? Did I not see the stairs? What is wrong with me? Bobby pin. Yeah, we were not done with ups with this house at all, and I just walked away from it. How did I not realize that there was a second floor? Well, I guess it's fine since like I wouldn't have been able to progress much without the shovel okay more upstairs that is the creepiest gnome I have ever seen mallet. I don't think I have anything I could stick there. I can't believe I missed upstairs. I'm supposed to be good at exploration and all that n nonsense. <laughs> Much of it can't be read, but the words abject failure appear several times. So does hurt feelings, sentient corn stalks, and why did we do this? Those did seem to be what was just running around. Okay, so now we have a bobby pin. I can guess what to do with that. Extremely useful for picking a lock, but you mistakenly thought it was a pencil and wrote a very detailed account of your day up to that point. I didn't notice there was no ink until a few hours later. We must be, uh... Very ditzy. I feel like I'm being called out. Now here's the real question. How do I know how to pick a lock with a bobby pin? Watch me have it wrong. Great kidney care. I can't read that. Butchopia? Probably not correct.
the hell? Well, let's start with this. Although it's hard to make out this blueprint, looks like it's for the construction of a very large, very poorly planned facility with a farm situated on the top of it. The facility itself actually set in an architectural record. Or it actually set an architectural record for having the largest number of corridors that lead absolutely nowhere. Okay, now I have a telescope. Manufactured about a century ago, this telescope. Telescope. <laughs> Telescope's effective range is the tops of low hanging trees. Possibly because of the lens put on backwards. Looks like it was used frequently with varying results. Where's our broom? Okay. You saw something in that sausage grinder that could be removed with these pillars, pliers. You know this because you spent an uncomfortable amount of time trying to pull it out with your hands, making no progress whatsoever. See, I never would have thought to look into that had I not checked that, because I would have thought to put something in the thing. Always check your items. The puzzles right now are not really... ...challenging, I have to say, but it is the very beginning of the game, so... It feels like a lot of the solutions are just sort of being... Oh, yeah, there is something in there. Okay. Not an ideal place for it. This warped key fob could be useful if you could flatten it back to its original shape. At first you tried to do this by staring really hard at it, it didn't work, so you set out to find a tool which will do the job much better. <laughs> Uh, I realized that this is what was going to go over here. But I was wondering why. It's been smashed good and flat. Okay. So that's maybe two of the things that we needed? Let's try going back this way and see what happens. Maybe those boxes aren't in the way over here anymore? Okay, I guess they are. I might as well head back to the door and see if the disc fits. I do not believe that the key fob does. I believe the key fob probably goes to something that then leads us to the helix. Yeah, because that is too large. Okay, what the fuck do I know? We have nothing to put there yet. The oil... ...mentions something about, uh... ...an image of a gloved hand pops into your head. So we need to find that, I imagine. I like how I was so certain the key fob wasn't going to do anything for us there, and I stuck it in anyways. 
The only hand I could imagine is this guy's. Which does not appear to be anything I can interact with. So, we still got the donut. And we still got the oil. Let's try heading to the barn and silo again. There might still be something in the house, but we'll get to that when we get to that. I think we should make sure we've exhausted all our options here. Aha! I say, not actually sure if this is going to do anything for me. Well, that looks safe. Not seeing anything I can interact with. I would think I could interact with this, but I guess not. Cannot jump. Don't even try it. So let's check around here again. We should check. Maybe over here we'll find something. Hard to imagine. Oh. Where did you come from? Did we... Did I walk over this and not see it? God, I am... I am slipping today. Well, that is clearly what I need. A severed hand perfectly preserved in the glove that encases it. It can come in handy if you need to give yourself a hand and find a way to loosen and get that glove off. The first pun was intended, not the second. So, we need to get the glove off. Which means we need to find some place, like the key fob, to put it down. Get it to come off. Right? That makes sense to me. So I was wondering if I should just use the oil right there, but if it's severed, I don't know, maybe we need something to hold it down. Like a clamp. Why did he have the... That's not how I would have imagined using this. Wow, it's preserved pretty well. Once you manage to tear away from giving yourself an unending stream of high fives with this hand, you may want to find the actual use for it. And it's not to start another round of high fives. It occurred to me that, like, well, I can interact with the sink, so maybe I fill it with something. I got the oil. 
baby. As so I put it in there, and I was like, okay, well, clearly this oil is meant for this hand. <laughs> But yeah, the sink was not my first idea. Hey! 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 Oh, what? You must answer a riddle before you're allowed to enter. <coughs> a doctor and his son are in a car accident. No, not that one. Say the one about the guy who hung himself with an ice block. You just gave that one away. Answer this one. What animal walks on four legs in the morning? That one's boring. I'm riddle president today. I get to pick. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, 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 that's true. Why is he oh, president right, every man. time? No, I did been a bit unclear him. on the election. Oh, we should <laughs> An empty bus pulls up to a stop and ten people get on. At the next stop, five people get off, and twice as many people get on as at the first stop. At the third stop, twenty-five get off. So, which one of us is named Jim? Am I Jim? I thought he was Jim. No, that's Bill. Where's Bill? You're Bill. Oh, that's right. You may as well enter as we sort this all out. Let's hope you're better than the last one. What the hell? I kind of... Oh, and watch out for our brother down there. He's a bit odd. Okay. Yeah. Uh... Oh, yeah, Ted, don't worry about it. I'll reset the elevator after a few more months of data. Uh... We brought... We, we overbought on food pellets and have to get rid of them somehow. Bob, I told you to fix this elevator weeks ago. It takes hours for everyone to get in here because of your stupid experiment, moron. Cordially, Ted. Okay. But yeah, so... I knew there was going to be corn, sentient corn, some variety. But they look so weird just staring at me like that. <laughs> okay, I see. Okay. What? This is like the only thing there is to do. <laughs> Bob P. McTavish, Honorary Lobby. I guess he's Bob. Hiya, Ted. Oh, wait. Well, let's start here. My god, Bob, what is this? Did you actually have the gall to commission a bronze statue of yourself? It'll cost us for... It'll cost us a fortune, you narcissistic dolt, cordially, Ted. Hiya, Ted. Don't worry, I got a deal on it. Commission these statues in bulk. Think they really spruce up the facility, especially for the tour. Could be a big moneymaker for us. Bob, you are so, so very stupid. What about the term classified? Don't you understand? We can't. We can't host any tours, moron. <laughs> Cordially, Ted. I don't think I didn't notice you put on near the farmhouse. Repeat, 
classified. Put it away, idiot. Flash a brochure that appears to be part of the proposed tour of the facility, which includes what Bob thought a modern child looked like. Most of the brochure is redacted except for the walking city and corn on the front. Ted Co-founder PDA PhD MA ESC DOP Fire Founder It says someone keyed in Co. Yeah, so that's gonna be my age. Probably. That's the same guy the pictures we saw in a dress. Okay, what was that now? Sir? Hi, Ted. The fish shipment. Fish? Shipment should be arriving today. Should be a pal and put them in the tanks for me. Thanks. Bob, you dummy, there are thousands of water tanks here. Do you realize how much feeding those fish will cost? That is a lot of tanks. Someone is just blowing money. Meta material looks like it will fall apart at the mere thought of a gentle breeze. This jumpsuit should not be worn by anyone. Security station. And I now have a coat rack. Good for hanging coats, unless it is placed upside down, in which case it is not effective at all. Reserve power mode. Appears to be a report on the warfare readiness of the subjects of Project Maze. The report states multiple times that the sentient corn had no discernible method of raising or operating a military firearm and have a habit of taking naps right in the middle of the test. The term abject failure also appears all over the document, a running theme of many reports involving corn. So the corn was supposed to be some sort of military project. What, uh... Okay. Easy troops, I guess? The big thing went over that way. Okay. 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 We got a power strip we turned on. Alright. Bob, stop playing your stupid games on my computer. It's screwing around with my AI experiments, idiot. Bob, you disgusting slob, don't you know how to read? Stop eating in here, glutton. <laughs> Jesus. This man is mad. Like every model, this Griffatron contains the innate ability to be unable to grasp anything of value with its claws. It appears to be an official guidebook for a tour of the research facility. A large portion of the text inside has been redacted, but 20 pages are fully dedicated to the giant fats 
and most mostly repeat the refrain that the vats are very large and contain things that should stay in very large vats. Okay. Alright, Ted. The latest brochure came back from the press. Take a look. I think it really boosts the tour, and you, you'll be happy to know that the most sensitive bits have been redacted. Safety first. Bob, first, you are an idiot. That brochure is incredibly stupid. Second, for the last time, no tours. <laughs> Third, you're going, if you're going to make this stupid brochure, at least add my name to it. We're co-research heads. Remember, as in same title, jerk? Hi, right, Ted. Really sorry, but the final print has been done and sent off. I'll make doubly sure the next one has your name underneath mine on the front. Good God, Bob. Do you have the reading comprehension of a five-year-old? This is a top-secret facility. Where did you send those brochures? More. <laughs> Sounds like one dude was just doing all the work, and the other dude is just trying to make it into something else. What in the hell? I don't like that. I don't like that at all. What in the hell? <laughs> I had to notice that you took down the painting in the lobby. Thanks, I had a little blimp. It had a little blemish on it. No sweat though, there's another one. Be a pal and put it up, would you please? Bob, I'm not putting up another one of your paintings, you self-indulgent louse. For God's sake, how many did you order? That, what the... And why is my face on that stupid horse? Cheeseburger wrapper. What the... Originally from a local fast food restaurant, the nutritional information on the wrapper proudly claims now 100% sal salmonella free. There are, no exaggeration, thousands of these wrappers looting the facility, but a fetching mustard stain on this particular one sparked you to pick it up. It leads off that way. And that way. Let's pose another query. If a tree falls in the woods, does it make a sound? Hmm, interesting conundrum. What kind of tree? Fur. Can it talk? Yes, but only after lunchtime. Is it wearing a lot of bells? Some, but not many. Is it in a glass house? Naturally. I have it. It does make a sound, but since it's a tree, it's too stupid to notice. Correct! Well done. Hello? The schedule outlining the work shifts of the entire facility staff most noteworthy notable are the shifts for the two founders. They are completely opposite of each other. Hello? They don't care about me right now. Why? Major improvement over the Sketcher 2000, as it features the ability to actually draw lines instead of instructing children to stare at the screen and imagine the drawing in their minds. You feel like using it to draw a large face, owing to your fascination with foreheads. What am I supposed to do with this? So they're just watching me wander around down here. Holy crap. Military backpack, it can carry lots of things, none of which come to your mind at this particular moment. I have a screwdriver now. 
Bob's favorite screwdriver. Use it to pry open Bob's secret storage spot. It's completely useless for removing screws, but makes a nice ping noise when tapped against metal railing. His secret spot... Bob, you disgusting slob, until you've cleaned up after yourself, I am blocking your entrance into the bathroom. I'm tired of calling in the hazmat team every week, moron. We have a lot of stuff on us now. And I have yet to find a use for any of it. Some of this seems obvious. So it's like the backpack and the arm definitely went back into that one area where we got the keyboard. This block before? Can I put him here already? Get it out of my inventory? Yes. I don't have anything else to put there, though. Guess we're going where the big dude went. The hell? Be ready for a great year. Is this where they tried to teach the corn? A nondescript children's block adorned with letters and numbers. You spend a long amount of time trying to figure out which is which. Eventually, you sort it out by the number five. <laughs> you sort it out by the number five still fools you every now and then. <laughs> A Soviet knockoff of a famous American teddy bear, which says a variety of friendly Russian sayings when powered up. Its name is Vladdy, according to the tag. Looks grumpy. Okay. Alright, okay, more sticky notes. Bob, you lazy buffoon, I know you're sending you're spending all your time here and not signing the giant stack of paperwork I left at your desk. Stop playing with your toys and do your job. Also, for the thousandth time, why do we even have a daycare? There are no children here, halfwit. Skill 1, 2, following directions, craftsmanship. Ah, I did. I swear, I remember seeing shit like that. Yeah, that looks very secret. Hi, right, Ted, just heads up, I put your RAM right here. This way it gets less dusty. <laughs> Look at all this RAM. It has to be at least six, maybe seven bytes of RAM. You figure that's the most bytes in any bit of RAM ever. It's it's hard for a computer upgrade with a computer upgrade with knowing not the slightest idea how to do so properly. Yeah, it's just like it looks familiar. Like you're in like kindergarten. Like, really, really early grade school. Maybe not early grade school. Maybe? No, because... Yeah, memories are memories are jumbled up. I 
I remember first grade was nothing like that. It would definitely have to be like kindergarten, that's what I'm remembering. Or it looks exactly like that. Where the hell is that robot room again? It's down this hall, this way. What do we suppose goes there? A radio? Okay, upgrade a computer with the RAM. <laughs> Got all this RAM. Wow. This is not your best work. Wait. <laughs> okay. What? What are you looking at? Something on Vladdy's face? Why you not talk? Do you understand? Understand what Vladdy is saying? <sighs> Butso boy, you're a big <laughs> idiot. How you survive by being stupid? <sighs> Fine. Vladdy, help. <sighs> oh. Why guy so mignoy? What is this on Vladdy's back? This makes no sense. All of this is very stupid. <laughs> so, where we go? You require Vladdy. Prepare to be insulted forever. <laughs> Do you want this? How about this? Why do I have? <laughs> why is there? Why did I build this? <laughs> All right. Well, we need you to settle a debate on taking naps. Oh my God! What is that? What is? What is Plant saying? Is that a? It is. It's a helicopter. What? Da? Give me a ride, Mr. Helicopter! No, give me a ride! We can all fit just climbing! My lucid drug! What's the way? Boy, Grisomnyoi! Chitania Vesela! What a rude contraption! What if you're just gonna be like that? Success. Oh, right. We completely forgot. We have a message for you. It's very important. You should hit the showers. What's a shower? I have no idea. Vladdy does not like it here. <laughs> New path is open for you. You should probably go find it. I wasn't done exploring the old path. I was not expecting what happened to happen. I should have examined the uh, keyboard. He has no sense of wanting to keep up with me at all. Ah! It's like a weeping angel. As I was walking, I started hearing his footsteps. I was like, there's no way he's starting to catch up with me. I found a dumbbell. Try as you might, you are unable to lift this more than two times in quick succession, and yet somehow you continue to carry it with you wherever you go. Are you stuck? No? Okay. Is this path the one that was open to me? Definitely is a shower.
The only way this report could sound more triumphant is if trumpets were blared every time it was read. It explains a very promising result after examining one of the new sentient corn stalks, a breed of ruby queen corn that shows high levels of intelligence. It also glosses over the fact that this specimen is somehow female, which was apparently impossible under the genetic protocol the facility used to create them. He he's calling me stupid, but you know what? I can't disagree with him with a lot of the stuff that apparently comes to this character's mind. Sweaty headband imbues the wearer with the ability to walk at a slightly brisker pace than normal for short periods of time. It is not worth the risk. That's actually a rather clean public toilet. Is this another rock? A run of the mill rock with no defining feature whatsoever to discern it from billions of other rocks currently in existence. Its name is Mabel. We now have Chauncey and Mabel. Soap! <laughs> Let me stay here while you do your stupid things, idiot. Alright. What the hell? This appears not go anywhere. So I want to make sure that there's nothing I need over here. Yellow. It should be me. It should be me. Surrounded by idiots. Rattle. Underappreciated. Ridiculed. Scorned. Really? What is that? X is not a number. What? Why is that there? We should have kept one around to ask about that. Exes. Ugh. Ridiculous. Hmm. Much better. Some of my best work. Was it saying something? What was I doing? Ah, oh, yes! Dealing with unwanted guests. He seems nice. Well, I already go, but back the way we came. He seems different. Not that different. So where's Vladdy at? Where did it go? Not here. Ha! Not here. So insulting! How dare it! This insolence will not be tolerated! This one is dangerous. Not like the others. I can see it already. This one has a brain. Hmm, must be dealt with. <laughs> Is he looking for me? Yep, I guess. Who painted this? The intelligent female corn, I guess, that the paper mentioned. Who has disturbed me? 
We are not amused that you have kept us waiting. Has our servant informed you of your task? No, of course not. Imbecile. No matter. One must do things themselves if one would like it done right. Feels like we have been trapped here for an age. Our cowardly captors saw to that by stopping the righteous light from bathing us in its glory. Of course, we would not expect one such as yourself to understand. I do not. But perhaps you are different from the rest. Dare we let ourselves hope that we have finally found our champion? No, likely not. Probably not. But we would be remiss if we did not at least let you attempt to do something of value. So, we bequeath to you your tasks. Restore energy to this wretched place once again, and raise the rings. Only then will you be worthy of consideration. Raise the rings? The Quidditch rings? Looks like it was something to do. In a pure coincidence, a new path is open to you. Head to the West Hook checkpoint. I'm guessing she's being held captive here. Kind of spacious in here. What am I supposed to do with this donut? So I've noticed something. Maybe I'm. There's like a bandaged X on these three. So I'm guessing that means that there's something that still needs to be done to them to make them useful. Vladdy, I'm back. I met more corn. I can't see- Ah, idiot! So you are done being stupid up there. Good. Where we go? Not entirely sure. Well, I, they did tell us. I crouched? There we go. I wonder if he's just following me because he doesn't really have anything better to do. That's the daycare. Should I be concerned about running into the big dude? I don't exactly feel like I have a way to defend myself. Useless garbage everywhere! Yeah. Not even sure if I'm in the right place. Corn is gone. A memo from the U.S. government directed to a secret research facility, name of which is redacted, contains an incomprehensible directive to do something with corn, including an even more incomprehensible sum of money for the budget. Here on the memo, 1983. Not paying for this. Invoice of this incredibly extravagant bathroom calls for marble steps leading up to two extravagant toilets and a sink encrusted with gold. Cost is in the hundreds of thousands. Ted left it on Bob's toilet seat with a very pointed statement on financial. I don't think I've seen this word before. Culpability. 
Hey, buddy. So, boy, what a mess. Is this place where all the garbage come from? It would appear evidently so. I'm not seeing the room we're looking for, Vladdy. I don't exactly remember how to get to it, though I know I've seen it. Definitely not this way. This is not good. Too many toys. Children should play with rocks. It will help them understand life. <laughs> I'm so lost. I swear I remember seeing the sign for the door that... Here we go. West Hook Checkpoint. At least I know I don't want you to wait for Vladdy to catch up to me. He just will appear behind me if I stop looking at him long enough. Let's see. <laughs> Alright. What? Why is that Vladdy's job? What is Vladdy supposed to do? I don't know. You're the smart one, aren't you? This stupid thing will never work. It is... It... Huh? Okay. Facial recognition. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, suit. Well, I know that this can be put there. We have to draw a face first. I don't know how. I've never, art, art has never been my strong suit. We have to figure this out, Vladdy. Can you draw with an etch sketch? No? We'll figure it out. What if we... Because we do have... A face we can use for reference. There are too many containers in here. Bloody does not like it. Oh yeah, these are the vats, the big vats that are very important, aren't they? Can't we use this on him? Uh, aha, that is horrible. Use a portrait of inspiration for the worst facial sketch in the world, completely awful. This terrible effort pretty much confirms that you will never, ever, ever have a career in drawing portraits. Your dreams have been shattered. joking that never worked well that was still stupid <laughs> it was good thing this place is also designed by stupid people hey look you opened the door <laughs> 
okay. Well, we can go up, or we can keep exploring down. Here, do you want this? No? Bob, you buffoon, why is there a lobby here and what happened to the de de decontamination room? <laughs> I, I, it said, pretty sure I told you, did a little rework here. I think this will be a real high traffic spot for the tour. Gonna be real money maker. Words fail me, idiots. And stop with the statues. Why does he always say cordially? Bob, I noticed this flyer and assumed this was your work, so I'll remind you, pools are not safe to hold chemical waste. Why did you order one? Stupid. Paul's Pools and Pest Removal. The flyer for Paul's Pools and Pest Removal advertises big savings for orders within 20 mile radius of the shop, along with free extermination of one pest. One pest? The cheapest pool in the flyer has been circled several times in red pin. What did this guy actually do? Bob, I have made this map so our staff can restart the bargain. You can restart the bargain basement reactor you order without blowing us all the kingdom go. Do me a favor and don't come anywhere near it, moron. Ted, Ted, I solved your maze. Took me a little while, but I got it in the end. Bob, how are you this stupid? Did you get your doctorate out of a cereal box? Containment control. Or access. Uh, it looks like you have to go around all those. That's... This is quite possibly the worst written book of guidelines in the history of time. None of the guidelines make sense, and the instructional drawings all consist of a stick person running away from a large fire. Explosion in 120 seconds. Well, it's not ticking down right now, so that's something. I'm taking this coffee maker. You took this, not because you want to make coffee, but you heard that coffee machines grant you one wish. After much thought, you wish for coffee. It didn't come true. <laughs> I do not know where I'm going. It's too dark in here. I can't see a thing. Perhaps if we turned around. Oh, don't be ridiculous. This is a perfectly nice place to stand. Well, I can't argue with that logic. Neither can I. <laughs> Hello? Well, we're not going that way. Or that way.
Okay. Why does this look like an arcade machine? <laughs> I'm taking this. You decided to pick a, pick this up because you like the direction of the grain of the wood, and that gives you splinters for holding it from every conceivable angle. And that it gives you. Stupid American garbage. Submarine assembly. An instruction manual for building your very own two-man submarine. Since Bob and Ted opted for the budget model, the manual is 800 pages long and mapped out in a fashion that is similar to a choose-your-own-adventure novel. So I gotta build a submarine? Hi right, Ted, since this is a highly sensitive area, I had a new security door. No need to thank me, can't be too careful. Bob, you do realize that your new security door closes for no reason and locks people inside this very secure area. Stop being cheap and get a door that works, moron. Water pipe. This magic water pipe grants you the power to transport water from one end of it to the other. There will be no... There will be no reason for you to do this at any point in this adventure, but you will continue to carry it anyway, just in case. And improve design for a loading crane. Why? <laughs> Created by Pete's Games and Carnival, the design of the loading crane appears to be based off of a simple claw game, a fact which excited Bob to no end. Ted, conversely, wasn't too thrilled about it, but was stuck with it anyway after Bob forged his signature on the approval form. I thought it looked like that. Now I know hey, why. Water, blood is favorite. Hey Ted, I upgraded a lifting system so two people can use it at once. Our efficiency will nearly double. Bob, know that I do not say this lightly, but this may well be the absolute worst idea you've ever had, idiot. <laughs> Locked. Hi right, Ted, this box needs... If there's a box? Eh. Hey Ted, need this box of knickknacks loaded. Be a pal and move it for me, would you? Bob, you sloth, I'm not your errand boy. Load it yourself. Strange sealed box. I have nothing to interact with a lot of this stuff. It's all been put into my... Oh, hey. Uh... Is that a grenade? Alright. Progress. Hey Ted, just FYI, I brought the acetylene gas tank up to the farm for the annual staff barbecue. Completely corn free of course, haha. -ha. Bob, how many times have I told you we can't have barbecues on the farm? Put it back, we're days behind schedule and stop joyriding with the tractor dummy. <laughs> this goes to the tractor maybe? It's a shame you don't have small hands, as handling this key would be much easier. It looks like a key for a toolbox lock, which would be useful. Which could be useful if you can manage to find the fine motor seals needed to operate such a small instrument. Alright, now we got a hammer and a box cutter. Cheapest box cutter commercially available, this brand holds the distinction of being the only one that is rendered completely useless after one swipe. <laughs> and a, a, the hammer? Where's my hammer? There we go. For some reason, you feel the urge to break something beautiful with this instead of doing the standard task of hammering a nail. You don't know why you think of these things. Okay, let me do something real quick. There we go. That probably will stop this from being an issue. No, okay. Box cutter time. 
is filled with Fabergé Why eggs. Why do you pick up so much garbage, idiot? Vladi does not understand. There is a method to the madness, Vladi. Just you watch. See? Now, we have a lockpick. This is not what I thought I was going to get out of this, but this is what we have. But now... Vladdy won't say this, but probably could crawl through that vent and unlock the door. I have something. A nuclear fuel rod. For reasons known only to you, you are holding a very radioactive fuel rod in your hands, ignoring every known safety procedure for proper containment and storage imaginable. It's okay. <laughs> the stupidity will shield us. This vent? What vent? In there? Oh, butzel boy! Stupid idiot, making Vladdy crawl through dumb thing. What is Vladdy supposed to do in here? Stupid! Ah! Ah! Stupid wires everywhere! Why is this stupid? Oh! Ah! Uh, why is this stupid thing upside down? Makes no sense! How stupid are these idiots? Maybe if Vladdy gets... Oh! Ah! Vladdy has to... Oh! Ah! Can't do this stuff! Ah! Ah! Boy, I so many... Hey, idiot! Did that work? Yes. Stop being stupid and say something! Fine. Vladdy done anyway. Two more Lushi drugs, stupid idiot. Could get nowhere without Vladdy. Vladdy has to do everything. So, now what? Are you okay? Vladdy, I don't like any part of the experience. Also, a new path is open to you. Probably somewhere radioactive. <laughs> okay. Well, Where do we come in from? This way? Not this way. Maybe. Have I mentioned that I'm lost? Okay. Oh, that felt great. The up that nearly choked me just now. So not that direction. I guess we go back to where the reactor is. Maybe this way. to be an idiot in there, it would be very bad. Let me stay here, in case you do something stupid. Smart idea. Can I say, I get the feeling I'm, this is a place where I could fuck up really badly. <laughs> okay. So, what I remember is 
Oh god, I don't remember anything. I remember you have to go around several bins for some reason or another. Let's look. Alright, so. If that's where we came in from. Oh. Um. So instead of going that way, you gotta go around. There, around. Does this actually help me? It looks rather straightforward, honestly. Move quickly! Oh shit. 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 What? We're dead. Yes, that was actually going to help me. Okay, I remember enough. I remember enough from here. I don't remember enough from here. Uh, here. Got this, I got this, I got this. Don't think about the time. I got this. Oh, are you kidding? Shit. The return trip should be easier, right? Thirty-seven seconds left. Where's it actually putting it? That was a bucket. Okay. Restarted the worst nuclear reactor in the world. did it, Vladdy. We got power. And another brochure. Lobbies, lobbies, lobbies. For you. Brochure for a company whose main goal is to fulfill all of your low to mid-level lobby needs. On the back, one design in particular is circled in a red pen, the cheapest one. The company tagline reads, waiting never felt so good. <laughs> Progress, Vladdy. Progress. What are we progressing towards? I don't know. We gotta light up those rings somehow. Light them up? She said power them. They didn't particularly look like they have lights on them, though, do they? Yeah, you haven't seen them yet. You'll, you'll see what I'm talking about when we get up to the surface. If we get back to the surface. If I don't accidentally blow us up somehow. <laughs> Well, not that direction. Vladdy, I'm still lost. Have you been keeping a layout of this place in your head? Because I've never been really great with directions. I have to use a GPS if I ever want to go anywhere. Like, anywhere. <laughs> well, that's not happening. Other end. Somehow, I'm amazed that I have less items in my inventory right now. I feel like I would have collected a whole bunch of shit, not sure what to do with them. Of 
corn guys are gone. Let's see if we can open this. Success. Progress flat. This stupid thing. I don't know. That was like an engine shoved into a thing. Missing a control console. I found another rock! Wallace. This rock has no idea whether it is a rock, a fessimale of a rock, an amalgamation of many rocks, or a non-rock. By picking it up, you have undone all of its conclusions about the world up to this point. You have named it Wallace. Existentially unstable rock. You don't have to wonder about yourself anymore, friend. Hey, Vladdy, I got another vent for you. Again with the crawling? I mean, you know now from the last one. Uh, what is Vlade doing here? Is this Vlade's purpose? Crawling uh, and climbing through stupid uh, junk to get uh, more stupid junk? And for what? This stupid garbage? This is useless. No use. No purpose. Just more garbage. Garbage for idiots. Always. You alright? Garbage. Hope this garbage worth bloody suffering. But I already know the answer. No, because it's garbage. <sighs> what stupid thing is next? Well, actually, that looks like the control console, Vladdy. So good job. This is actually going to be useful for us. Why well, is really starting to hate Vince? <laughs> well, let's read it first. Due to a communication error, this particular control console is designed to be remo removal from its base. It was it was lost approximately sixty times during the facility's existence. Why wouldn't you just keep it in the thing? What am I turning on? Oh, it's one of the rings. So, this is what stupid thing does? Vladdy still think it garbage. Same. The thing you did was important, probably. Okay. It's not even cleared this entire concrete hole. It's not like it broke. <laughs> well. Why do you think you may have problem, idiot? You take too much garbage. Hey, we saw a door that needs one of these. Right? This is not garbage. This is exactly what we need at this moment. I mean, if it broke off that, though, I don't know how we're going to get it to fit into the one that doesn't have one, but, you know, we'll figure that out. It probably just slots in there, right? It looks like it would just slot in. See? Not garbage. Another ring. This one looks kind of worn. Also, what the... I'm gonna hit the button. Oh. That does not sound good. No, it doesn't. Oof. Chitanya Vesilo. Why is this place so stupid? Nothing works. Idiot American machines. Well done, idiot. Breaking it will help. Stupid. <laughs> you should take that dumb PC if you can fix it. All right, yeah, I figured I was going to pick it up. Hey, I didn't do anything but hit the start button. Okay, this isn't my fault. I to give you a down to level two. All right, let's go. What are we gonna do? Super glue it back together? You know what? Probably. What the?
Uh, level two. Wasn't that over this way? Hey, the door is open. Okay. I don't appreciate doors closing behind me. What is this? A lot of papers, more trash. I'm glad he told you where he is from. Lady is from small box, very dark, then stupid idiot brought him out of box, and it was sad. Now, we are here. Understandable. Bob, you stupid dummy. Why you commission that artist to make these maps is beyond me. They're unreadable. Everyone is getting lost down here. This is supposed to be a map? What in the f- Night Danger 2. Danger. After an unexpected hit, the maligned author was forced to write a sequel. This time, he he saved everyone the trouble of reading the book altogether and revealed the killer on the back flap. The novel actually chronicles the detective struggle to return a pair of defective pants. Bob, I don't care how good a, de a deal you got, no more lobbies. <laughs> Hey, this is where that guy is. A stupid. Do I look like that? I'm a well-dressed man, damn. Look at that stud. Welcome to something land. A very slick looking proposal to rework the facility into a high-end theme park and casino resort. Has lots of pleasing looking graphs pointing upwards, so you know for sure that it's a good idea. Some notable attractions include Vatland, Genetics Kingdom, and Kitchen. My god, Bob, what is this? There is no way any in any conceivable universe that we can turn this facility into a resort. Stop it. You dummy. I got a red marker now. You want to sniff it? Take our troubles with this T dot. You mistakenly thought this was a black marker, but you won't but you don't want to put it back down unless you hurt its feelings. Instead, you will draw a face on something with it because you know it likes to do that. I now have a water cooler in my hands. You were basically trying to pick up something else, but now you're in possession of an entire water cooler. You are too stubborn to put it down, so you are going to find a use for it, carrying it everywhere you go. You didn't even empty the, out the water. <laughs> well, those jokes that people sniff markers and stuff. That was never really an appeal to me as a kid. We took a wrong turn somewhere. An excellent conclusion. Yes, quite. So, what do we do? Well, naturally, if we take as many wrong turns as we possibly can, we will eventually make a right one. Of course. Brilliant. And if not, we'll take a nap. You read my mind. <laughs> Extremely lazy. Enjoy naps. Giving up on the coin's ability to be weaponized on any level, the scientists attempted to see if they could be of any use in the general workplace. They weren't, opting to take naps instead. However, the corn did display a fondness for stacking orange boxes, which they did so every chance they could. The goal of which seeming to be directing to the re The goal of which seeming to be directing the researchers to do what they wanted. Facial recognition, security checkpoint. Hi, Ted, since you're so worried about security, I did you a favor and beefed up our doors to your room. You're absolutely welcome. Bob, you jerk, I can't get, in, get into my room because of these stupid discount security measures. Fix it, I'm sick of sleeping in the grotto. Dog's barking in her sleep. Hi, right, look at all the sticky notes down there. We got another rock. 
now this is a rock that knows its place in the world. Unquestioning, unwavering, happy, and basking in its complete and utter rockiness. You have named it Shelby. We're getting a whole rock entourage here. I want to read the sticky notes on this, guys. Because it looks like he finally got a statue for the other dude. After getting a giant one for himself. But why the fuck? What is this guy's obsession with statues? So, Bob, what do you think of this? See what you have driven me to do? Jerk. Hi, Ted. This is great. Really excited to see you get into the spirit of things. Added one of mine so we can be side by side. Really think it balances the space well. <laughs> Get the one up. I got a box! Vladdy! This is absolutely positively the sturdiest box you will ever find, except for the one you see immediately after you pick up this one. You now have what is known as Boxer's Remorse. Clearly, this goes here. And clearly, the water cooler is here. We don't have what goes here yet. I hear Vladdy walking around. I do not see Vladdy. Let's go. Nope. I had to check. We are, without a doubt, the smartest dumb person in this place. <laughs> the assistance office. The final page consists of six appointments, 9 a.m., do nothing, 11 a.m., pick up new fedora and glove, noon, torture stupid corn for amusement, 3 p.m., hide to avoid work, torture corn, 6 p.m., initiate master plan. I saw the message, I'm sorry, I faded before I got a chance to really look at it, hold on. Maybe I shouldn't have let it fade. Give me a moment. Give me just a moment. Okay, so what if we don't let it fade out? I do apologize, I... The message was there and gone before I had a chance to read it. I was very distracted. I do apologize. I don't think I can bring it up again. Medicine ball. We could have taken a much lighter ball for this particular test, but that would require you to grasp. I <laughs> got a grass of logic that you don't really have. Hiya, Fernando. Could you be a pal and place the tour brochures across the facility? There's only a few hundred, so you'll be able to do it in no time flat. Fernando, you crit and ignore that idiot Bob's request. What you really need to do is sort the samples in the genetics lab from the last react, uh, from the least reactive to most, so go do it. Hi, right, Fernando. Got more important job for you than that. I need a statue directly above you moved about an inch or so. Scaffolding's already set up, so you'll finish it in about an hour or so. <laughs> Fernando, you lazy oaf, don't touch that statue. We don't need yet another insurance claim. Instead, go to the second floor of the barn and observe the corn's behavior in their habitat for several days. And don't move a muscle. That'll throw the data off. Hi, Fernando. Don't worry about the observation stuff. The Corps will take their own notes. Really need you to hang, hang about a few dozen new paintings that just came in. Be a pal and set that up, would you please? Thanks. Fernando, you twit. Don't lift a finger for those paintings. Instead, use this pen and draft... Use this pen and draft a letter for me. Dear Bob, you are a nitwit and an idiot. The Corps will be The 
one second assistant. A peculiar book, you know, a peculiar book on how to be an assistant in the workplace whose end appears to do as little work as possible. Chapters include how to shred everything, an intro into hiding in the office, and shifting the blame to the intern. Master plan. Uh, I guess we know how that dude died now. It appears to be the only thing Fernando, the founder's assistant, put any effort into aside from shredding important documents and wearing a fancy fedora and gloves. It's a very poor plan, involving jumper cables and a strange lightning rod that's somehow turning into an all-powerful guide. Notes read that the stupid corn told me their secret, and Bob and Ted will be my assistants now. A coffee trolley. Where'd the cop- wait. The coffee machine doesn't work that way. Okay. Okay, so now we need a plant. Bob bought these to help maintain the large number of plants that decorate the facility. The small fact that they were all plastic and didn't need any maintenance didn't deter him in the least. What the fuck is that on the box? Capuchin treats? That's a monkey. I'm gonna hit everything but the button to pick things up that I've been using this entire time. New size, who cares? They're monkeys! Made with real stuff, maybe. Bob mistakenly thought that capuchin was another word for delicacy and ordered thousands of boxes to snack on. When he was told that the snacks were in fact for monkeys, he ate them anyway. Are those the treats that were in the elevator? I do got a Atari slash Super Nintendo. You need to figure out a way to repair this broken gear if you want to raise that giant hook into the sky. The fact that you know nothing about engineering, mechanical repairs, or finding things, or finding things means that this will probably go very smoothly. Why is there a litter box? I haven't seen signs of a cat at all. I'm so very lost. I need a plant that looks like the same as all these other plants. We've passed by several already. Like, this would work, right? Oh. That'd be complicated. Buddy, kick this one. Or find me a plant that I can use for this. I know, it's a stupid plan, but it worked with the last one, so... There's got to be a potted plant around here we can actually pick up. Or else interact with in some way, shape, or form. Hmm. 
we're not going to be able to leave, though, because the door closed behind us. So it's got to be in here somewhere. Been through a year already. Aha! A room we haven't been in. Can be open from the kitchen. Jesus, that's a lot of dishes. Bob, where is that idiot Fernando hiding? I told him to refill the coffee trolley with Ranko Ranko weeks ago. If you find him, put him to work and do some yourself, buffoon. You take so many useless things, idiot. This is perfect for what we need to do. I don't know what you're on about. Watch my genius at work. Trim plant is much nicer now. We stick this here. We stick this here. Hang on. And now it looks like a person. That does not sound good. Aha! I finally found you! You've fallen into my clutches, just like all the others. I must say, I'm quite disappointed. I thought you were more clever, more interesting. But no matter. Now, your suffering will be so incomprehensible that your small mind will Stupid break! plant, why is your face like that? What is that? Your stupid face is very bad. Dumb plant. Is that on purpose? <laughs> Shut up, you mean furry stupid! How dare you! I am the pinnacle of my race! You will pay for this insult. Let me just. Ow! Uh, what's up, boy? Or get some new Jeez! Biting is cheating. I win by the fault. <laughs> Your plans have been foiled by my plan, which are better than yours, you. Dummy! <laughs> Wait. And I am most certainly not retreating. <laughs> I was about to say you accomplished it. No, this place is filled with idiots. Hmm. He accomplished nothing. He got his ass kicked by Flatty and left. I swear to God, I'm hearing something. I don't know if it's in the game or in real life. There's a candle holder carving of Dave, the legendary unicorn brought to life by a hungover demigod. The magical this magical creature possessed near infinite foresight and a complete lack of spatial awareness. It fell to his death immediately after it was created. Ranka. Ninety nine percent caffeine free coffee. A cheap knockoff of a well-known decaf coffee brand, Ranka is unique in that it doesn't taste like coffee whatsoever. Instead, the makers went for the taste and texture of an old boot. It's the only th thing the facility's coffee trolley delivers. Local team wins big science award. Looks like the both of them. It's an old newspaper clipping that shows a very young Bob and Ted winning a science award for an artificial intelligence prototype. Judging by their demeanor, their partnership hasn't changed much since then. The article notably places the display's slick presentation, spearheaded by Bob, and completely ignores the sciencey parts, which Ted did on his own. K 
can't be controlled. The coin follow the corn follow her. Much too British. <laughs> The lab report outlining further tests on the facility's breakthrough test subject, the, fem the famed female ruby queen corn. Much more concerning than the last one, as it uses phrases like can't be controlled, the corn follow her, and much too British. Recommends sequestering subject as soon as possible until further notice. Written entirely in blue pen, in perfectly sized paragraphs is the most depressing diary known to man. Highlights include many thoughts on optimal sock organization, regrets on his partnership with Bob, and sadness that his own project and our experimental AI program couldn't get funded. Are you that AI? I guess you are. It's the only logical conclusion I can come to. This is a big desk. Or else I'm a tiny person. Wait, so what did I accomplish here, actually? We got in there. Co uh, the coffee. Not in here, though. Somewhere. Oh jeez. This way, Vladdy! Yo, it absolutely demolished that door. It's a riff from Broadway musical. An autobiography play about the story of an albino corn stalk's quest to destroy something called flesh bags. The story has several continuity problems, and the choreography makes absolutely no sense unless the dancers gain the ability to transform into a quantum state and teleport from one motion to the other. Am I going the right way, Vladdy? Apparently. Come on. taking the step ladder. You vaguely remember the ladder you spotted earlier in West Hook 2 that you could access with the help of the step ladder. You note that your observation happened either a few moments ago or several centuries ago because you have little to no concept of linear time. Hey, Ted. Just to let you know, I spilled soda on some of your things and put them in here to dry out. Nothing serious, just some old moldy photos and papers in your important pile. Sorry. Bob, I hate you so much. Sassafras. A lot of wine. What the hell? Professor Poppycorn. Bob, I don't care how much you love this third-rate popcorn. Stop framing ads and hanging them here. It's stupid. Collecting all of this garbage will not make you less stupid, idiot. But it, you have to admit, everything has been useful so far except for this donut. English muffin. Is an English muffin a donut or is it just a dry biscuit? I found glue! If you ask nicely, Vladdy can fix the door back in level 1. He won't like it, but he'll do it. Bob was so enamored with this popcorn brand and its mascot that he framed a number of his favorite advertising and placed them all over the facility. They were removed immediately by staff. You figure that this glue may come in useful at some point once you finally manage to unstick your head from your shoulder. <laughs> I think we got what we need in here. Bag filled with garbage. Maybe it was the smell. Maybe it was the way the light caught the plastic. But something about this particular garbage filled bag caught your eye and never let go. You will carry it with you always. Come, Vladdy. We must fix this gear and raise these hooks for reasons beyond my comprehension.
Why does Bloody have to fixing everything? When is it idiot's turn? I don't know how to fix it. You've fixed everything so far. You're the smart one. Bloody not even sure what to fix. Is Bloody supposed to hit stu stupid American garbage built by idiots? Can't disagree. All right, so what the fuck do we do now? West Hook Two. Well, it's that's the most direction I've got, so let's go. I get the feeling that what was put in chat was some sort of advertisement. Just I'll find out. I'll watch the VOD later. West Hook 2. Remember which one that was? Because I don't. This is West Hook 1, which means 2 is on the other end. Also, I noticed when we were talking to the big corn dude there, do you think all that uh, stuff that makes him look big is his actual body? Or is it clothing? Because it kind of looks like it might be clothing. Wow, my sense of exploration is completely off. Now I can reach the ladder. Oh boy. Vladdy follows you so somehow. Okay. We don't have anything to mess with here. I mean, we do have to mess with it, I just don't know how yet. We got glue. We got this. A gear. And an English muffin as hard as a rock. Um... Bloody glad he cannot smell. It would be worse than garbage here. Contains hazardous chemicals, please do not work within 50 miles without protective gear. I do remember reading something that said they made a pool to hold hazardous waste. Or some sort of chemicals. You there, sir! This needs some repairs! Yes, it can't do that thing it does anymore. What does it do again? Goes places! Alright, yes, I remember. Alright, but... I'm on the other side of these boxes. Could you maybe move them? No. You like the exotic red and white pattern of this interesting item, which is why you picked it up. It never occurs to you that you might be able to use it to float on water. So you just wear it like a bracelet. <laughs> Another rock! You're not really sure if this particular rock is a rock at all or simply a very cleverly colored sponge. You have named it Jarvis. We're gonna have all the rocks. <laughs> Th 
thought that was something. The men living here look very bored. Yep. Security quarters. There's a whole ass castle. One of the many reports, written by a the lone soldier charged with keeping the facility safe. After reading this, it seems that wasn't a problem. Most entry logs are variations on the phrase, nothing to report. Also contains a running count of crossword puzzles solved, which numbers the tens of thousands. More stupid garbage, idiot! It's a wrench! It's probably the most useful thing I've picked up so far. Eva La Pizza. A flyer for a local pizza restaurant looks as like it was frequented often by this facility staff. It includes a special for their signature quintuple cheese pizza, which it offers to customers for free if they can finish it in 20 minutes or less without suffering a massive heart attack. On a chair. You carry this as a reminder to stop every once in a while and sit, clear your mind, and ponder the meaning of all things. You will never do this, not once in your course in the course of your adventure. Instead, everyone wonder why you are wearing a chair as a hat. What I must look like right now. Oh, I can't knock it over. It's disappointing. Well, holy crap, look how many pizza boxes. And now I'm craving pizza. I'm gonna go around the other side. This wrench is something you could use to get rid of the chemical liquid that fills the pool. Here's a hint, it doesn't involve throwing it in the pool itself. I figured what it was for already. Hey, look what else I found. Looks like fuel for the tractor nearby. Being the skeptic that you are, you took several gulps of the liquid inside to confirm your theory on what it was, and you were right. <laughs> In a quiet moment, you will take this rusty wheel and roll it along the ground, wondering what its purpose could be. Afterwards, you will forget you have it. Use the wrench to drain the chemical runoff pool. The smell remains. Okay, is it drained? Now what? This probably still isn't safe to enter in any capacity. I got a key for a toolbox. There's a toolbox near that strange inspire that this key could fit perfectly in too, if you can manage to stop dropping it on every third step you take. Don't move these boxes yet. Why do you want this running? God, look at your faces. A piece of junk. Tractor somewhat prepped, needs another item to be fully ready.
Yeah, I guess I thought. What is this stupid thing? It's very important, Vladdy thinks. And that man appears to be dead. Yeah. He really doesn't look too good, does he? No, not at all. Rather sickly in appearance. Has he eaten anything in the past year? I don't think so. Do you think he has the mumps? Very likely. <laughs> Might have something to do with all that lightning that caused through his body. And that he was possibly told he would get godlike powers if he was connected to that machine. Quality work on that, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> Oh yes, very much. Good riddance. Yeah, from what it sounds like, he tortured them. And they got back at him. <laughs> There's a toolbox around here somewhere though, right? Here we are. Why does Vladdy have to carry stupid bag when you take all this stupid garbage? That's a good question. What is in that bag? WT Ford. The best compound to make engine parts squeaky clean and rusty and rust free. Oh, so rusty. <laughs> but the worst thing to put on a salad as garnish. Luckily, you don't know what a salad is, so you'll never make this mistake. <laughs> Appeared, huh? Yes, of course. Vladdy should drive this stupid thing. Makes most sense. Large chance for pain and suffering. Idiot. What's a boy, stupid idiot? Vladdy do everything. Always Vladdy. Well, I don't know how to drive it. Hey, how does Vladdy start this stupid thing? Like this? Oh, okay. Stupid thing. Why we're we driving it? It's not so bad. <laughs> Stupid thing, go! Ha <laughs> This is good, ah! This is... Uh-oh. I cheat on your vessel off. And everything under control! <laughs> Why you she drunk? Stupid thing! Go that way! Go that way! Ah, so that's what it does. Well, that didn't go well. No, not at all. At least the propane didn't explode. A new path that is smashed open for you. <laughs> what are these? I thought it was weird that I saw anything that looked like tables. I thought maybe it was a error. in the uh, rendering, but no, it was indeed tables. I don't know why there are so many tables and tea sets here. This is unharmed, surprisingly. Vladdy? Buddy? There it is. Laddie, where are you? Get me out of To a my Lucy drug! Laddie thought this place had no purpose, but that was wrong. It does! It is to destroy Vladdy! Everything here was made to make Vladdy suffer, and you are worst of all! You killed my uncle. I'm right here. Oh, that's right. We're not helping you any 
more. You're mean because of the whole running a lot of us over business. You could have asked first. And nicely. Jerk. Boo! 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 There is absolutely nothing that will make us change our mind. Nothing at all. Nope. Unless you played that song we really like. Oh, yes. At our favourite spot. That could work. But nothing else. Idiot plants. You go. Vladdy fix this stupid thing. You get stupid plants out of the way. Okay. Almost all paths have been closed to you in case it wasn't obvious. <laughs> Holy crap. They are not happy. It wasn't on purpose. Y'all are the ones that wanted it started up. Play a song they really like. Well. That looks like part of the puzzle. Hold on. Wow, it's only been two hours. These boom boxes were strategically placed around the facility to improve morale. Coincidentally, that same week, the entire staff ended up in the infirmary for hearing related issues. Hey. Amazing, this piece of gear matches up perfectly with the one you carry in your possession. What are the odds? Like, actually. A very pointed letter, which was very pointedly discarded in this general area. It appears to be written by a scientist working in the facility and addresses the two founders, calling into question their management skills, budget acumen, acumen and general intelligence. It's signed at the bottom in orange pen, only the first name is visible. Helen. Oh, now we have a boombox. Part of me feels like we're pretty far into the game, and then there's another part of me that feels like I have accomplished absolutely nothing. Thanks to those rad tunes, a new path has been opened. Vladdy? What are we even doing? Path has been opened, but I'm not entirely sure where. Where the hell did y'all go? I was gonna try offering him the donut. Uh, I keep calling it a donut. Oh, hey. Vladdy, your tractor! What happened? What is problem? 
stupid thing did jump. Next time, you drive. So what dumb thing is next? I don't know, but we're taking this propane tank. Or not. Huh? That's it? All this pain and suffering for Vladdy, and you push the stupid thing into the water? Why you never say anything, idiot? <laughs> you know, it's a miracle that Vladdy did this. Vladdy had no idea what he was doing. Vladdy not mechanic. Vladdy could barely reach pedals. All for what? <sighs> we should see where that stupid floating thing end up. Probably in place with all the water, because of course it would, because everything hates Vladdy! <laughs> <laughs> Vladdy is wondering why I decided to help you, but if you get into the boat, you'll still follow. You. I was I probably should have checked out that area a little more. Hey, I know where we are. Move the crane. Exit. Okay. Okay. put these back together without the glue. Oh well. <laughs> hmm. So we got the glue on there. What if we... <laughs> I thought he was going to stick his hands to it. That was not the effect that I, uh... was very stupid. Not what I expected to happen. At all. Okay. Now what? Excellent. Okay, I see what's happening. Um, okay, yeah, that worked. Cure his repair, which is a bit of an ordeal, to be fair. <laughs> we have it now. 
You do not reflect too much on your monumental achievement of repairing the gear because you are too busy wondering what happened to the two gear halves you had. <laughs> Before we go and do that, let's see if we can't get back. Nope. Alright. Well, we know how to leave if we want. Uh, Vladdy? What? Uh, Vladdy already fixed, stupid door. It's closed again. Device pay on Pesnio. Stupid idiot makes Vlad into everything. Crawling through. Ah! Oh! Idiot should be crawling through stupid. Ah! Oh! Stupid virus suffering all this. Oh! Ah! Put some boy! Daniel Vesalo, you have your lumbu! Vladdy had enough! You stupid dumb idiot American garbage! You. Got it. Of course that work! Because this is the stupidest, dumbest place there is! An idiot just stands there looking even more stupid! <sighs> now what we do, stupid? <laughs> now this idea, the world has no vents of any kind whatsoever. So, which way? I'm not entirely sure. We try one and then the other, I suppose. Wait, it's gotta be this way. I say, as if I'm that certain. This is hook one. I was gonna try to jump over his head. I forgot that there is no jump button. Q still does nothing, by the way. <laughs> In case y'all were curious, I have still been trying to hit it to see whatever it would do. Uh, the gear goes here, I suppose. All right. Great. We did it. Why did we do this? I don't know. Oh no, what now? Hello. Good to see you. You did a very good job. Yes. Very good. What did you do again? Press the button. Wow, we. Yes, that's very nice. We're supposed to send you a message. That's right. Yes, it's very important. What was it again? Do not free our queen. No, that doesn't sound right. Was it do free our queen? Probably. One or the other. Whatever the message was, that button pressing was very impressive. Oh, yes. <laughs> very. Oh, well, right, we should probably go. Yes, that would make sense. So what do we do now? Something productive. Another nap? Yes! That's the most productive thing I can think of. You know, me too. Vladdy do not know what worse. Idiot plants, the stupid ugly idiot plant, or you. <laughs> no, Vladdy no. It is you. <laughs> Idiot. Your father's over to you. It'll take you approximately three seconds to see it. What? We're going back this way? No. I see that it's closed. I don't see that it's open. Maybe I'm dumb. Oh. I am dumb. Bob, how is a one-way pneumatic tube at all useful? What part of... 
What part of order elevators did you not understand? This stupid thing is an expensive, completely useless death trap twit. Why haven't you just, like, gotten him out of here if he's that dumb? Alright, Flatty. You wanna ride with me in this? I guess so. Magic tricks? Too boring. It needs to be spiced up. A blueprint for the room with all of the vats near the facility entrance. It reveals that the vats contain hydrogen and oxygen in massive quantities, and they all feed into a central location. Essentially, it's a massive fuel source. But you're not interested in that as much as the notes of impossible points of interest for a tour written by Bob. We've collected almost all the things to collect, it seems. Everything in this place is so stupid! I just question everything about this adventure. Why? Bob, you twit, where is the hallway? I broke my nose running into this stupid painted wall. Sorry, Ted, should have told you about that. I sold it for scrap to pay for the lobbies. Oops. God damn it, Bob. Yes, why not? Another stupid door for Vladdy to fix. Idiot. I don't know what we're supposed to be doing here. So boy, let me know what to do. Just hit stupid thing until... What a stupid place this is. <laughs> hey look, the coffee trolley. Pause for applause. <laughs> you didn't even get to fucking... <laughs> is it just gonna sit there? Key card slot. Bob, I'm not going to ask you again. Clean your fish tanks. I lost them. I lost all of July because of you, jerk. Stop pressing Q. But Q! Well, Bob, I hope you're happy. All the fish are dead. I'm pointing this out in case you're wondering why the facility smells like a bad sushi restaurant, you dolt. Now, I noticed there were no fish in those tanks before. Where do you think we're supposed to go? Key fob slot. I ain't got the key fob anymore. Wait, let's start with this one. Hey Ted, check out the new security measure I added. Installed it in a few high security places. Sales of the single are gonna go through the roof. <laughs> Bob, you dummy, now everyone hates the song because they have to hear it ten times a day. Bob, I saw her talking to the isolated subject again. For a change, do something useful and make the security room more secure, Dolt. Well done, you idiot. Now we're all locked out. And fix the lift, moron. Got <laughs> facial marker. All right. All right. So we need to. How are we actually going to? Hmm. I was gonna say we need to get back up to get the stuff. But I guess that's not happening. Such a waste. Americans should be working on more important things like surviving winter or being less stupid. A mean stupid. 
Bob, and the rare occurrence that you're actually done erecting statues to yourself, I would like to inform you that we are being audited. As in, how are we going to explain where all this money went? And why there is talking corn all over this stupid facility? I know I shouldn't have indulged you, you half-witted, stupid, narcissistic buffoon. Buffoonish, idiotic moron. You drove me to erect that stupid statue of myself. It was made of rare earth metals. It cost millions. Hiya, Ted. Well, we're at a pickle, aren't we? Not to worry, I've got a couple more ideas up my sleeve. We'll make all this money back in a jiffy. For God's sake, Bob. No tours, no resorts, no casinos. Idiot. Got carpet now. Effective at making any area you encounter feel more like. <laughs> Sorry, it threw me off because I actually used to have this rug. <laughs> this exact rug. <laughs> Effective at making an area any area you encounter feel more like home, although you will never be sure if it is in fact its original color scheme or pattern of stains better left unknowable. The question remains on your mind for several days. I don't know whatever happened to that rug. <laughs> now that I'm thinking of it, but what the hell is in here? Hi, Ted. Think we're onto something with my new batch of test corn. Pretty sure I saw one move the other day. Exciting. Bob, these are all carrots. You are an idiot. Mora. What is this? Oh. I know what those are. I don't remember what they're called. I know what they are. Why are there so many of them, though? Just strewn everywhere. Okay. Another rock! Whimsical rock! A rock that is subject to flights of fancy, unable to keep a thought in its head for more than a few moments without moving on to the next. It is currently thinking of re-enrolling in college just as soon as it determines what a college is. You named it Jeeves. Biolab key. Awesome. Very important key for a very important room. In fact, it'd probably be a third or fourth most important room you'll visit on your journey, not counting the very nice closet you spotted on the first floor. You think of that closet often in your quieter moments. Well, no place to go but to the one door back here. Hello. What the fuck? It's a music room. Fingerprint scanner. Hiya, Ted. Got some of the lyrics down during my shift. I think it's really gonna be a hit. Bob, you wrote one line, you lazy slob. I'm doing the same until you smarten up. Hmm. Time for coffee. Oh, here it comes! Now what? Ted, Ted, great news. Did some focus testing for the song, and guess what? It's a hit. The audience really had an ear for it. Ha, I get it? Because of the corn? Stop playing around with the corn and get back into the studio. We have no time to waste, twit. What? Looks like this is the booking schedule for the facility recording studio. Most notable is that neither of the founders seem to have occupied the studio at the same time, except for a very brief two-minute interval once a week or so. According to a fam to famous rock band logic, this should have made an ideal work this should have made for ideal working conditions.
Bob, you musically illiterate half what You can't change the key 16 times in one song. I nearly passed out because of all the shifts. Live a life of a lonely man who's plagued by, brilliant mind, by a brilliant mind. An imbecile for right hand and a prison. I, I'm inside. I need a girl who can understand the burdens of this life. Whose name will go after an... Oh, it actually says it right there. In blue pen, I live a life of love and played by a brilliant mind. I have a soul for a right hand and a prison. I have no prison, I'm inside. The next line is in red. A girl who can understand the burdens of this life, whose name will go after an ampersand in whom I can confide. What? Glitter and rhinestones. Oh boy. Package proclaiming these rhinestones and glitter can bedazzle even the most dazzling of items. You spend the next hour afterwards wondering if that was a paradox, then next through figuring out what a paradox is. Why were they recording music together in here? Bob, despite your best efforts, I actually think this song is acceptable. Though I despise your presence with every fiber of my being. Get down here so we can press a copy of the song, moron. And you had better deliver on those distribution plans, dummy. Hey, Ted. Whoops! Looks like our cost overruns. A Wait, looks like our cost overruns eight into our distribution budget. As in, it's gone. Sorry. Probably shouldn't have made that power ballot cover. <laughs> I'm sure that sure got expensive. Live and learn. What? <laughs> Cordial. <laughs> I knew you stole my fingerprint, you glory hogging buffoon. Again with garbage? These are all useless things you take, idiot. But you have to admit that all the useless things I've taken have led us to this point. Yeah? Why are there so many... Is this normal for a music studio, for the drums to have something like this going on? You did not think this was an instrument, instead you thought this was something you stood on in order to be taller for a little while. You stood on it for six hours, regretting nothing. <laughs> Having no interest in the guitars at the recording studio... <laughs> I was gonna pop my corn. <laughs> Having no interest in the guitars at the recording studio, so I take it what you thought was a less complicated instrument and begin banging it against the wall. <laughs> What I would think I need is something like tape. Or we'll take this too. You mistook this for an animal and waited several hours for it to say something to you. When it didn't, you decided to take it, and now you carry it over your head like a battle standard. So I need other dude's thumbprint, I guess, or something. Now I have a drum, rhinestones, a stand. Still need a key fob. the music disc to get in there. Vladdy, why don't you help me find more stuff? I figure probably not. Might be something else in here to use or not. 
Or else we go back here. Maybe back into the lobby. Now that I think about it, yeah, I didn't. Maybe I didn't look thoroughly enough there. No, doesn't really seem to be anything here. idea. I do. I don't know what to do with it. I've just been holding on to it. I can't. <laughs> Trying to find something to do with it. Surely. Surely. <laughs> Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I don't see the camera that I wanted me to use here. Or what might have been used here. Facial recognition. From where? <laughs> Worth a shot. Uh <laughs> I've clearly not explored as much as I need to. I'm missing something. Alright. Could be a little more thorough. <laughs> Like I should tear that or something, but I can't interact with it, so... No? Not in here. As far as I can tell. Nah, I don't... I don't want a clue. <laughs> I've gotten this far, I can figure this out. Since this thing I could stand on, it thinks, it said. The question is, what? This game has finally stumped me. But I just assume I'm missing something that I need. We can't go that way. I don't know why I'm going that way. I won't. Let me ch check the lab one more time and then...
Aha! I got a half full vial now. I knew I missed something. Need something else. Thought I looked at all the... Piece of tape. Must be unbearable now. <laughs> no, 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 no. Very serious letter. Uh, hold on just a moment. I got the chat box in my way. Informing the heads of the facility that they will be subject to a very thorough audit by the government in the near future, judging by the amount of no's written across the page, Ted did not take the news very well. Unbearable. Well, we now have the tape. Here comes a trolley. Oh boy. Now we can do this. I knew I was missing some tape, I just wasn't sure where I'd find it. Blends in with that. Pressing hot single onto a CD. We have the new CD now. As this technology was so new at the time, each CD of the Founder's Pop Single cost several thousand dollars to press, which makes this the most cost-efficient operation at the facility. <laughs> now we can stick this in here and get into this room. I always thought we came to be thanks to a conglomeration of circumstances too large for us to comprehend. Or maybe because it's sunny outside. Yes, of course. But why aren't we over there? I don't know. <laughs> Should we go? Maybe. Okay. Punishments. Bob, where in God's name is everyone? What happened to all our staff? Hey Ted, I think I left a note to you about that. Had to tell them all to go... <laughs> Had to let them all go to cover our, the recording costs. Also, FYI, we have no money left. Whoops. Is this supposed to be... Hey, look, Fabergé egg place. But we're not going this way. Are these bins? Why can't I go up here? The amount of zeros. Ah, oh, shit. Hang on. Maybe I do need to make this. Ah. Hold on. Settings. Okay, I'm gonna have it fade, but we'll have it be 200 seconds. Might give me more time to actually see stuff. All right, now the zeros in the invoice had a is hard to fathom. For all but the least budget conscious minds. 
that the order form is faded, so you can only see fragments of words on the item list. Whatever the purchase was for, it apparently needed a lot of vats for fuel. Not many places to go, but into this room that says punishments. We got a hat. Why do you take so much garbage? There is no more garbage left for anyone else. Well, if it's all garbage, then nobody else needs it. Right? Ted has completely blocked this unfathomably sized Fabergé egg out of his perception so he doesn't have to think it's even more unfathomable cost. Bob was very disappointed when this one didn't have any chocolate inside. This may be a fancy hat, but it isn't the fanciest hat in the land. That title belongs to Top Notch Brown Bowler, owned by an office clerk in Brigginton. Brigginton. Coin slot. Coin slot. Excuse me, guys. Okay, now what? Now it has a hat. Use a gigantic Fabergé egg. Needs something else. What if we bedazzled it? We have a rhinestone fancy hat to the bedazzle. We ruined, completely ruined the giant Fabergé egg. We have a face. All right. All right. Progress. Okay. We good? Can I go in? Is it open? Laddie, it won't open. <laughs> what the hell did we open? Or not open? Laddie, fix it. <laughs> you, you fixed everything so far. Fix this. What the hell? Oh, those guys are gone. Okay. Oh. Uh. Nope. Should I flip the switch? Sentient? Not sentient. Doesn't look sentient to me. Oh, hey, we're so many. Look at this stupid place. How much garbage is in here? Plenty. What the hell are we supposed to do now, though? Alright, look what I found. Found a key fob. Diary torn in half. Contains a drawing of a scarecrow with complicated scientific equations underneath an orange pin. A sketch of that strange spire near the grain silo, which is circled writing. Which is circle. Writing is also visible in orange. They will help you. It looks important. You tried to eat it, but changed your mind when you couldn't find any pepper. Are we about to make something crazy? Oh, this is an inactive key fob. Which means... We should find a way to make it active, right? Or maybe... It'll just be... Maybe we just stick it in here. Nope. Oh, Alright, we gotta make it active somehow.
Each member of the facility had their own key fob infused with their DNA imprint, an outlandish security measure that could have been done by a guard with 20-20 vision at a fraction of the cost. This particular one doesn't seem to have a DNA imprint yet. Okay, so my initial idea may not have been as stupid as I thought. Place a key for the subterfuge and port half to be violent sites ready to be initialized. Helen's key. Interesting. Alright. Wow. Look at all this stuff. Oh. This is the one. Let's look at that in a moment. See everything else that we can find. Another jar of Ranka. Written entirely in orange pen, mostly this label, but there are some words you can read. Some of the phrases include idiotic facility, credit stealing imbeciles, doing everything completely wrong, lowered the corn's intelligence, do it myself with my genetic code, and ruby corn. Hmm. I guess that's why you have one that's female. Doesn't sound like. Doesn't sound like him needs to. Sound stupider. Needs to sound stupider. Emphasize audit too forced. Is a draft of a letter sent to the U.S. government requesting for a full audit of the research facility. If you understood the concept, you'd be able to discern that it was a clear forgery with the founder's signatures in practice several times underneath. It practiced? What the fuck? Signatures practiced several times underneath and included phrases like, and needs to sound stupider in orange pen. It's presumed that the finished copy was successfully sent to the government triggering the audit. There's a researcher that has not been really heard of, except for once before all this. So, let's see. Well, now that I'm in here, now what? Surely there's something I'm still missing. Because that door, even after getting all the facial recognition shit done, has not opened. Ah! Damn it. Alright. Now what? Oh, what if we just... Because of the company's off the production measures, every batch of Ranka has had a different taste. In this jar's case, it tastes like the back of an old chair. Well, that was more useful. Uh, these trolleys seem very dangerous <laughs> for the work environment. Why is it coughing on a trolley again? Written by Ted, this notice outlines that the isolated subject in the containment room cannot absolutely positively under any circumstances be spoken to by staff, under pain of being called an idiot for several months and likely fired. So which subject is isolated? The ruby corn? We'll look around before I send Vladdy through here.
All right, Vladdy, go for it. Yes, of course, Vladdy, go. Vladdy, always go. Oh, you guys, so many, you stupid idiot. What is this stupid thing? <laughs> this place is one big joke. Well, Vladdy, not laughing. The vice pay on Pesnio. What is stupid giant crank doing here? Pointless. Vladdy has to <clears throat> do everything. Stupid American garbage. Chitanya <clears throat> Veselo. <clears throat> what? Is that it? Ding? That means nothing. Uh, this whole place makes no sense. Ha! I've got you now. Oh, good. Idiot planted ugly face is here again. Oh! You Cretan! I will make you pay for your continued insolence! How will dumb ugly plant do that? By... Uh, by... So boy, ow, ingress, so minuit! Ya deb ya loop Why are you always biting? Why are these plants always so difficult? Ow, stupid idiot plant! Oh, that was very rude. Yes, quite. What an odd duck he is. He doesn't need that coat. It's just for show. Oh, I know. Wonder where he went. Probably his favourite place, that punishments room. Oh, yes. So tacky. If you want your stupid, mean pet back, you have to come and get it. I've taken it to be punished. Definitely the punishments room. Yes, definitely. Someone should probably help that strange little helicopter thing. Shall we go take a nap? Oh, yes. You read my mind. <laughs> After that, we'll take another nap. What a great idea. Y'all are rather useless. Hard as a grind if this muffin is most definitely nowhere near fit for consumption despite how try. That oh, way. What did I say? That's not the, not the muffin get that small. <laughs> Don't worry, Vladdy, I'm coming for you. Hi, Bob. Nothing you do surprises me anymore, so I'm going to give you some constructive feedback on punishments, which is, I'm assuming, what you spent the last of the facility money on. First, this is the stupidest name I can think of for this place. Second, everyone will be injured getting here because of that idiotic pneumatic pump. Third, there is no one left here to pay for anything because we fired everyone, you incompetent louse. <laughs> Cordially Ted. Hi, Ted. Just a heads up, I'm initiating Operation Sub Aquinium Evager. I think it's time we cut our losses. Be a pal and activate the contingency plan while that's going on, would you? Need to tie up all the loose ends for. Lin. <laughs> loose ends. Or stalks. You backstabbing subhuman, you are not leaving without me. Yes, I'm navigating in this pitch black here. Night Danger 3. The detective did it. Plagued by unprecedented success of his first two books, the completely disinterested author hoped to deter shoppers by revealing the killer in the book title. The novel itself is 300 page diatribe about how the author hates mystery novels. The movie rights were sold for a record amount. <laughs> All right. Welcome to your worst nightmare. Looking for your pet? Don't wait. You have fallen right into my trap. It will cause you unbearable suffering. It's not so bad. Shut up. But you won't be <laughs> suffering alone. Say hello to your partners. Well, go on. Say hello. Don't keep it waiting, you cretins. That would be extremely rude. Welcome, brother. Did you break the big ring? That's why I'm here. 
I locked myself in a closet and couldn't get out. I stared at a wall for six to three days. It's really not that bad here, brother, aside from the nonstop dancing and spiral into insanity. I didn't do anything wrong. I just love dancing. If your oh. feeble mind could comprehend such things, you might be thinking, why do these freaks keep calling me brother? Why, oh why, do I feel some kind of kinship with them? Why am I such a dumb, stupid, stupid thing? Well, I can't answer that last one. But if you'll kindly stand still, I have something truly wonderful to show you. Ah. Oh. Yes. Yes! You are one of them! <laughs> one more in a long line of misguided failures on whom our beloved queen continues to waste my time. Uh, we're right here. Yeah! Words hurt! Shut up! You stupid! Is it no wonder that I suffer so surrounded by equations and imbeciles and more stupid than all five? I should be the one leading our people to glory, to the vengeance we deserve against those fleshy demons that imprisoned us. Not any of you, and not that, that red-faced harpy. Ooh, <laughs> that's a good one. Must remember that. It's not that good. Quiet. <laughs> now that you are finally aware of your true nature, your glorious eternal suffering awaits. You are an absolute failure like the rest, and will remain here dancing for all time. Ha-ha. <laughs> ha <laughs> I disagree. <gasps> it's our queen. She is free. She has returned. Who is that? Does she dance? It completed its tasks, did it not? It succeeded where the rest had failed, did it not? Is it true? Brother, is it Why so? have we stopped dancing? <laughs> it barely succeeded, Your Grace, and should not be worthy of the honor it of... It has earned its place on our journey. It is our champion. But but, but your majesty... Silence! Yet again, your incompetence becomes a burden on us. Yet again, we must wonder why it is that we tolerate your servitude. But, but... Need I remind you of the consequences? Need I remind you of your last penance? Oh, she's talking about the room, isn't she? Oh, the terrifying one with all the pictures of Professor Poppycorn, the devourer. Yes. I like that room. No, I... What? Anything but that. Then release it and its companion and get out of our sight. Yes, your majesty. You and your thing are free to leave. Join us at our seat of power with haste. Our tormentor is gone! So is our queen. Does that mean we can leave? Let's dance! Yeah! Yeah! yeah. 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 Dancing! That was very stupid. So you're a scarecrow. Why not? I didn't get to read my own name tag. What's happening? Okay. Is this the way I go? Probably not. Well, this seems to be the only direction to go. I'm still a little befuddled. Oh. Okay. supposed to know you did not know you were some stupid straw thing and who cares if you are not matter you will always be stupid idiot to vladi nothing change do not look at vladi like that you look stupid are we still comrades good i am glad we had this talk come on idiot straw thing let's go see what stupid plant wants oh my man you're a teddy bear. How 
How did I free her exactly? That looks top notch. Extremely well, affecting. I guess you look very mm, stupid thank up you. there, idiot. Not my best work. Shame you think so. Okay. We were right to place our faith in you. Thanks to you, our journey is nearly at hand. Kneel before us. <laughs> I dub thee our knight. Well done. Our protector. Good job. Our champion. I'm getting a bit sore. <laughs> Subjects, let us make our final preparations. Absolutely, Your Grace. In fact, we've already begun. What? What do you mean? We ordered pizza. Yeah. We were famished. How did you... That phone right there. The man was very helpful and a bit confused. Oh, no. Attention, attention. Redacted installation. Respond. Do you think they added the extra pepperoni? Attention, attention. Redacted installation. Respond. I'm just hoping they sprinkled some old books on top. I like those. No, that cost what? extra. Anything? No, sir. No response. What in the goddamn hell? Didn't we blow that place up years ago? Apparently not, sir. Well, how about we do a job then? Full drone strike. Wipe that dead gum place off the map. Yes, sir. Why is that bleaking light still on? Turn it off. Turning off, sir. Stupid American cowboys. I hope they didn't put any pineapple on it. Our influence has waned through our age of imprisonment. Our subjects never acted so when we were free to guide them. We feared this day would come. And come it has. Our day of reckoning. The day our captors would return to end us. And we were so close. So close to starting our journey. Journey where? Why not blow up stupid American cowboys first? What are you proposing? That stupid thing outside with the dead man. The life giver. Nobody knows these things. It could work. Yes. Yes, it could. It is a fitting choice. It gave us life and defeated our sworn adversary. Now it will be our ultimate salvation. But how do we attract our enemy's attention? We could dance. Really? I understand we can be a little silly at times, but seriously, this is out of the question. So, what? Vladdy like to dance. Is that so stupid? No, it is not. Dance we shall. <laughs> I did not think you were concerned with our plight. Vladdy thinks idiot plans not so bad, and he does not like being pushed around by stupid American cowboys. What a nice helicopter. Yes, very polite. Even if it never gave us a ride. Yeah, that'd be a low blow. Oh, I love you too. Focus, subjects. Focus. To our most trusted charges, we ask you to assist our champion and the little one. The rest of our subjects join me in preparing for our journey. Our final test is at hand. Some of you may not survive. In fact, a great deal of you will likely perish. But know that your sacrifices today will mark a new era for our people as we defend our adopted home. And finally, Make way to the promised land. Um. Subjects, onward! Champion, it is to you now. This is what you were meant for. Protect us. Save us. A fine speech. What was the first part she said about perishing? I don't remember. <laughs> Neither do I. Come on, idiot straw friend. Do not be stupid. We have work to do. No. The logic of the events hangs by a thread, but you get to dance, so just go with it. <laughs> so, if I'm following things right, oh, we're gonna take this boom box. We're following things right. He's got made the sentient corn. 
and she made us to help her. Something like that, right? Discarded and forgotten, this military radius still kept its a latent charge decades after the facility was abandoned, but its lack of touch-tone dialing meant that nobody could ever check local theater listings, which is the biggest tragedy of them all. Another one of Bob's notorious boomboxes, the corn kept a few of these so they could play their favorite song whenever they liked, which was all the time. I never did figure out what these rings were for, and they keep talking about the Great Journey. Oh, hey, another rock. This particular rock has, after eons of contemplation, gained supreme enlightenment, and its consciousness has ascended to the Petranic plane of existence <laughs> into something more ethereal. Give him to John. Alright, so we got to do something with the lightning rod, right? I'm clearly not heading in the right direction. Hold on. There's all sorts of stuff around here now. So who was the white corn? What was his deal? If he was one of her subjects. Why was he trying to stop me? Oh boy. Come, stupid idiot. Time to finish this. Ready? Oh boy. Dance. He doesn't give out on me here. I don't, I don't think it's important. Dance more, idiot! Dance more! Oh my god! Our favorite song! I love this one! Let's get on the floor! Something on our nine o'clock. Phone? Possible contact. Could be hostile. You're just saying things. Just throw the dang thing at you, dumbass. Yes, sir. This working. Keep going. We're <laughs> dancing out here. Yeah. yeah. I love dancing so much. score so far. Look at me go. <laughs> Man, I'm so good at this. <laughs> Go. 
Merging missiles in five. Yes, come, you stupid cowboys! Four. What's that about missiles? Three. Who cares? This jam Two. is a jam! Dancing! The dead mesmerizing. <laughs> We won! We saved the day! With the power of dance! I always knew it would come to this. Oh shit, Vladdy? Great! It is the idiot! You did good, comrade. Vladdy think you... Not so stupid. Bloody. He really was a, a nice little helicopter. Yes. He, he really was. Did you want to take a nap? Oh, yes. It's what that helicopter would have wanted, probably. Surely not. Bloody. No. -uh. No. -uh. But what about Vladdy? What is civilization worth without Vladdy? In our wildest dreams, we still never thought this day would come. But it is finally here. Thanks to you, our knight, the champion of our people. We must now... One? Well, it's no helicopter. You dare defy Stop. all of you! Ah! This is it. This is Get the hell off my drone, you corn of the cop! I have had it with you! Your idiotic experiments, your pathetic plans to run off like a coward! I will eat you for a midnight snack! None of you are worthy of the gift you have been given! None! You're all stupid, all of you! And when I'm done with you, you misguided piece of nature! I will end your tyrannical reign and establish a new order! And we will march on our creators! Turn these wretched contraptions against them and wipe those sloppy breath bags from existence! Uh, shouldn't we do something? I would like to see how this plays out. Also, I am tired. Oh, right, yes, so am I. Just stay still, you stupid! This is really gonna hurt! Oh. Um. That's it. Stay perfectly still. <laughs> oh. I didn't really like him that much. No, neither did I. He was a bit of a bore, wasn't he? Quite so. Such a waste. We took pity on him. When we found him in the depths. We regret that choice now. He brought us nothing but hardship and frustration. Champion, you have served us well. We are most pleased. You have given us the gift we have always dreamed of. 
a new home to call our own. For that, here is a final token of our gratitude. A key. We were right to trust our faith in you. And now, we ask you to perform one final task for us. Send us to the Promised Land. Subjects, your queen commands you. Onward! Make final preparations. Our journey is at hand. Yes, your grace! It's actually happening. We're actually going. Where are we going? I don't know. Excellent! Wait, in the silo? Thank you, champion. Wait. Loading? I don't know what these rings are supposed to do. Where this key is supposed to go. I want Vladdy back. Let's see. Hi, Bob. I'm not going to push this stupid button and do your job for you while you escape. Instead, I've taken the keys to the sub. Goodbye. Enjoy the rest of your time here, and good riddance. Hi, Ted. Notice that you removed the keys, too, but I'm worried that you won't be able to operate the thing by yourself, so I took the liberty of removing the engine for safety purposes. No need to think. No thanks needed. You snake. Fine. I'll meet you at 0500. Bring the map and the engine. And push this stupid button, idiot. Hi, Ted. Absolutely. See you then. Don't sweat this whole scientific disaster thing. I got an angle on something bigger. Y'all have an engine? What the? What the? Y'all. This. Is it? Going to... Pull the whole farm up with it? Where 
y'all going anyways? Subjects, the promised land awaits. This really is quite the ride. Oh yes, quite so. Did you close the fuel hatch? I thought you did. I was having a nap. So was I. Me too. They're just so lovely. Uh-oh. You are all such idiots. Jeez. Oh. Everyone dies, I guess. What the hell? I live the life of a lonely man who's plagued by a brilliant mind. An imbecile for a right hand. Does it not end the way I expected it to? I honestly didn't go in any direction I expected it to. <laughs> This is a song that they were recording in the studio. I think it's the same as the dance. Well, it's an interesting game, I'll say that. I guess <laughs> I ended up uh, forcing it to surprised I went and recorded a song anyways the two scientists or the scientist and the dude who was ruining this project <laughs> Surprise, like they all just die. <laughs> Maybe that's their own fault. Our own fault for trying to rely on people this stupid to operate a rocket. Makes her just as stupid as them to leave them up to it, right? foremost
All right, is that it? Is that everything? We got anything at the end of the credits here? Am I still alive? Should really stop pressing Q. <laughs> no. It'll do something someday. <laughs> The cave? No. That was actually a really interesting game. I half expected us to finish it within a session or two, but I still enjoyed that a lot. The cave. I'll have to look that one up though. It was fun. It was a it was a funny game. Tragic ending. We lost a Vladdy, and then all the corn we went out of our trouble to save. I had a lot of fun with this. Uh I'll have to figure out something new to play Wednesday. Next Wednesday. But yeah, I wonder if I should have. I wonder if it shows Q here as nothing. No. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I think next Wednesday. I know what game we'll be playing. Uh, it's another thing I've been holding on to for a while. Damn it! I was really hoping there was gonna be something at the end where Vladdy was still around. You recommend a fire or a hat in time? I have heard of a hat in time. I've actually heard it recommended by someone as well. Yeah, maybe I just didn't press Q enough. I need to mash it next time. We'll be able to save everybody. That's the secret. <laughs> Alternate ending. <laughs> but yes, that was a maze. Well... So I guess we'll wrap it up here, and we'll see what we end up doing Saturday. For now, I hope everyone has a good day, good evening, good night, whatever time it is for y'all. I'll catch y'all next time.
Thank you.